Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. I'm delighted to be joined from one coast to the other, all the way from LA to New York City. I'm with the wonderful writer of two weeks, Margarita. Big virtual hug from us in LA at New Filmmakers. Um, so wonderful to have you here. Uh, but for those that haven't seen two weeks, let's take a look at a clip. Um, I am so happy to be with you. I'm, I'm sorry we can't do it in person, but we can spread the love across the United States for this interview. Um, thank you for making your film. Um, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Two weeks is about a person who realizes they're asexual and then they try to fun they, with that knowledge, try to function in a very hypersexualized world and industry. And it has some nightmarish sort of elements to it. Yeah, you definitely took us into the, the, the those nightmarish elements that they were there, but I was just so happy you made this film. I felt like I've never seen a film that's been able to delve into this subject in quite the context and, and really have all these symbolic, you know, analogies of what one could go through experiencing this. And it was, I'm just so, so thank you for making it firstly. <laughs> um, but secondly, where did the inspiration come for you and turn this into an actual film? Thank you so much. That means a lot to me that you liked it. Um, basically, it's based on inspired by my life. I started to realize that I was different from other people at a pretty early age, but I couldn't tell. Like, I kept thinking, like, something will click and, like, I'll think people are hot and I'll want to whatever. Um, but it, never got better and I would try to google it and I'd be like what's going on there's got to be answers and there really wasn't much and like I started trying to figure this out th five years ago um now if you go online there's a lot more about it but that journey of thinking that I'm bad or wrong or like whatever <laughs> yeah. uh, was really difficult and I didn't even real like I wasn't able to put words to it until I got married to a very sexual person and we're still married but it's just things that would have been like nice to know about myself and to be able to communicate to my partner so I didn't want anybody else to go through that and I want to make a movie about it I, I'm I'm like I'm honestly so thankful that you made it I honestly think that your film can you know not only educate some entertain others but basically help relationships and help people that feel like what they're going through what they're suffering is is nothing against them as a person at all you know it doesn't take away the beautiful love you have for people and for humans in your life and and i'm so glad that you shone a light now and i honestly think that your your film is gonna you know save lives save relationships enhance lives enhance relationships um, you know, and I'm so glad that you made it because I don't think we've seen enough of this on, on, in, on, in movies at all. Um, you took this story. I, I, I really was in love with the characters you gave to us. Um, it was so just real, you know what I mean? Real and raw, like for, from a, a relationship that, that was, it was just wonderful to see on screen. How do you go about bringing your cast together? Because they nailed it. So the person who plays like my agent was actually my acting coach for several years. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Um, and then the person who plays my partner in the movie, I met her in that class. So oh. I already knew she was brilliant and talented and Victoria, the director and I, we did hold auditions, but Annaline just stole our hearts and she brought something to it that was like, some of the other actors weren't nailing the like it's my it's because of me kind of thing um and Annaline just brought something so like broken to it that we couldn't go with anyone else she was incredible 
it just it just it just felt like the story was played so honestly you know what i mean like it didn't feel like glorified in any possible way it was just two humans trying to communicate with each other you know what i mean in 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 a way that was just you know you can completely understand both sides as well it wasn't like you were just being you know biased to one you were literally just trying to put it out there um and was that something when you were writing it that you really wanted to kind of articulate from from both angles because i think you just did it really well balanced yeah definitely i mean i think it's also really hard to be on the receiving end of that especially when we're living in a world that tells you like you have to be desirable you have to be having lots of sex but yeah you're also a slut and a whore and whatever <laughs> so yeah. it's you know all of this mixed messaging but you internalize it even if you don't want to yeah so i think it's it's very difficult and i've known some other people that are in relationships with asexual people and they're like it's me it's me i'm like it's it's not you but i know why you think it is but it's not you it's it's just who they are <laughs> yeah and, and and that's something that that i i love that you brought into the film is that you just you just took it from a very um a, a point of view that could be very well understood you know i don't think people have described um asexual people on film very well at all to be honest with you i think there's it's it's been pretty poorly portrayed and from someone that has that experience did you kind of did you really want to sort of enhance the minds and, and people that would see your film? And what did you kind of want your audience to take from it? Definitely. We actually had to do a pickup shoot because initially, you know, we'd made other films before Victoria's made films. I've made films and we generally go with like, don't hit people over the head. Don't make it super on the nose, like trust your audience. Um, so that first little speech was very different mm -hmm. um, where I said, I'm asexual, I'm sex positive. That wasn't in there. Um, and it was a much more tender kind of thing that happened in a totally different part of the film, but it wasn't coming across probably because asexuality is so underrepresented. People just like couldn't put it together. Mm -hmm. So then we did a pickup shoot and we're like, we're just going to say it because we, the whole point of making this movie is to like make awareness on the subject. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just be like super clear about it. And, I and it felt it felt like it felt sort of unnatural to do that, but I think in the long run, it was the right thing to do. No, it, it worked, and I'm so I'm so I'm so happy you made this that you know about this particular theme as well. I'm so interested, and and I, it's really lovely to have this conversation with you. But I love also you, you, you that you put elements of of this sort of like dream nightmarish perspective as well, like. I love the whole, I mean, I'm just curious, what was your kind of analogies on that? Because I love those moments that you gave us as well with that. So I watched Get Out and Mother. Yes. And I was just like, wow, they are <laughs> so good at like, express, like externalizing the internal feelings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that was my inspiration for it. And I had written some stuff about it. There was one thing that didn't make it into the movie, but it's like feeling like your skin is on fire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um like I love physical affection and stuff but if I know the intention behind it then my skin just like starts to burn and like I really right. wanted to put that in there yeah um so I'm gonna do that in something else <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it just it, it's literally my experience is like feel as an actor um as somebody with a aside female at birth you know like you're always being sexualized and it just yeah. I really just like, it was almost like writing in my diary, you yeah. know, which was really cathartic. I, and Victoria, one of the things that Victoria did when she came on as a director was help me like make that better. I, well, I mean, I think you had a great team there. It was, I was about to say it was wonderfully directed. Um, you know, you really did just capture some really powerful moments. Um, how, how, how did you kind of both come together working with each other with your wonderful bit, director, Victoria? She, so I've known her for a while. We met in the collective called Film Shop. Mm -hmm. um, and I was already a big fan of her work and we had hung out a bunch and we'd had a lot of deep conversations. So I knew she would understand mm -hmm. the story and she read it and she was like, oh, wow, yeah. And then I was like, so nervous to ask her. I was like, do you, would you, Vicky, uh, can you direct my movie? And she was like, yes. <laughs> and then she read the script a few times she had some notes and her notes were brilliant like there was really no issue like I 
it's it's very like I love collaboration because I think it's so much stronger when you combine voices and perspectives on things and there was no like sh like it was just pr easy you know mm -hmm. like she'd be like oh how about this and I'd be like yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. or she'd be like how about that and I'd be like mm, maybe not super like authentic to this particular experience even though it's a yeah. cool idea so it was just a lot of like feeling free to like throw out outlandish ideas and then rating them in from there. I, I, I again, I, I'm so, you know, you, you brought up something that I just can't stop thinking about, which is just how much we have just, you know, sexualized everything from music to TV to, to, to you know, it's, it's been non nonstop, you know, I mean, I, I feel like, you know, being part of the LGBTQ, being gay is sexualized in a certain way as well. And, you know, and it's, it's, I think it's even harder um, you know, for, for, for what you've had to kind of go through because it's really underrepresented, um, which is saddening and you're fighting against a world that tells you to be something different. And that's why I think it's so great that you wrote this, uh, you know, amazing piece. Um, and I'm so curious for you as a writer, like what drives you in your, in your writing, your creativity and, and, and the kind of stuff that you want to create? I really just love flipping the script on things. Mm -hmm. I think that's so, I'm so tired of seeing the same story all the time with the same characters all the time. Like I just get so much joy from being like, this is what the world could be like. Yeah. Like I think sure there's a lot to be said for like historical accuracy, but at the end of the day, I don't give a shit what ethnicity is playing what role, like yeah. what gender is playing what role. I think it's so much fun to break all of that yeah and it's like show people like everybody is a human and we all have experiences exactly. and like yes. our differences are what make us awesome and like by exploring all of these different identities and perspectives that's how you're going to be entertained it's not by seeing the same fucking remake over and over again i'm just i'm just so glad that you exist as a filmmaker and you're breaking down those those boundaries and 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 that's exciting and also just you know rewriting the scripts and 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 and, and, and leaving it open to discovery rather than putting everything in boxes all the time um that is really exciting um what is next for you? What's going on? What's happening next? There's a lot happening. Um, so my production company, Besties Make Movies, um, my partner from that company, Stacy, is actually the editor of Two Weeks. She's incredible. Great. Um, she just directed a feature that I produced with her and we started with Jay Dionker. It's called Triple Threat. Whoa. Um, it's really fun. It's an ode. It's an ode to Broadway. It's queer. It's modern relationships. It's really awesome. Um, so keep an eye on that. And I can't wait to get already, I'm ready for that one. I tell you, that sounds great. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. We have five original songs. It's what? so dope. We have a really great cast. Stacy's an amazing director. Um, and then Stacy also directed another short I wrote called Appetite that actually the same character Tanya from two weeks is in. Oh. So that is just starting to do festivals oh. and we're writing a bunch of new stuff. So this has got a good production company right there. Good, good people. Yeah. That's really yeah. Cool. When, when you meet somebody awesome, you're like, you're mine forever. Cause yeah. a lot of people no. suck. <laughs> is everything, right. Your team is everything, you know, no, I'm, I'm just, I am honestly, we have a lot of films at New Filmmakers Los Angeles. I'm very grateful that you wrote this film for so many different levels. Um, you know, it's it's a blessing to have you as part of our, our film festival. So I um, want to thank you, Margarita, for two weeks and, and to all of your team. Um, but just please keep making more content for us. That's all we can ask of you. I will. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right there. So, so thank you very much. Thank you. Can I, can I add in one thing? And I don't of know course. if it's fit anywhere, but of course. what I've, the conversations that have been inspired by two weeks that I've been having, like as people see the movie or if they find out I made it, is realizing that there's so much gray space. There's like what you want me to, what you want me to think about your life and how you live it. And then like, because you're ashamed to actually say like, oh, my partner and I actually only have sex like once every two weeks or something but you think that you have to be this like super hyper sexual person to be considered a man or whatever. And yeah. I just, I don't need people to go around like contemplating they're asexual by watching this movie, but I hope that it makes space for people to realize there is no like normal and whatever you are is awesome. 
what that that's what you need to hear it's all you need to hear thank you that was that was that well, i'm glad that you mentioned that because that is that is important no matter what you are who you are it's it's you know being you're you're okay as you are and that's wonderful thank you margarita thank you so very much you guys have a great evening